Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for this video, we're gonna be um, pre-planning in my budget planner. So we're go gonna set up my budget planner. Um, I am a bit behind, so that's why I'm trying to catch up. We were sick um, last, yeah, last week. So it was a disaster. <laughs> so we're just gonna set up and all the stickers I use are from Sarah Marie, which I will leave down below. So I have been, I think I'm, I think I ordered less stickers because I am going to not change it up, but I'm trying to not use that many stickers so it doesn't get too bulky um, at the end of the year. Like I still have technically six months to go, like we're halfway technically if you think about it somewhat. <laughs> So I want to make sure that it's not that bulky. Okay. So for this one, um, what I usually do in my monthly, like in the monthly section, is that I track groceries, gas, eating out in household. So I'm trying... To take care of this um, and then I always I track I keep every receipt that we use like I obviously I have a budget that I try to stick to especially for groceries and eating out but uh, I'm gonna have to just for the summer move both up a little bit increase it gas as well because we are going like to more places so I am gonna increase you'll see in my budget Okay, so I also like to put, um, I guess it'll be on this side, my paycheck. So I get paid on the 15th and the 30th. So this month is a bit weird because it'd be like on a Monday and a Tuesday. <laughs> weird, a bit weird. But that is okay. Oh, where are they? Okay, yeah, I cannot find them, but let me just get them. I don't know why they were in my other planner, but that's fine. Okay. I just like to keep, just to see when I'm getting paid. Okay, so that's it for this page. Um, and then obviously I'll put the date covers, but off camera. So right here, we're gonna put actually our July budget, which is what I was talking about. Um, I did like this um, washi strip. I think they were perfect. Okay. Perfect. And this is, so we only get income from two places. Either from my husband's job and our job. And my job, our job, and my job. I don't get anything from YouTube yet. I would like to at some point, but as of right now, it's just um, um, our jobs. And then I always put a miscellaneous, you know, just in case I get anything, but it's never the, the thing. So I don't even think that it's. Okay. Perfect. And then we're going to do our expenses. So I put um, almost everything here. Like I don't divide it by variable or non-variable. I, one same list. I feel like there's no need. Like I don't need to put like two different. It's I like to keep it all together. Okay. So we have bills. Home one, one and two. Um, Geico, which is our car insurance, health insurance. 
um, tuition for the kids. We aren't going to, we're taking the kids out of like preschool and everything for the month of August. So it's, we're not going to have one, thank God, but we'll still have it eventually. <laughs> um, electricity. Um, I'm going to put, I don't know how to, I'm going to put holding tank. Taxes. Like we're trying to pay our taxes um, once a month. We'll file something to like the IRS. And so then we have groceries. Gas. Eating out. Household. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. Investments. Sinking funds. And then I'm going to leave the... I think that's all we have for now. But I always like to leave it just in case I have something else to put. Okay. So now this is where we actually budget. And we only budget um, the ones that... Like, obviously, I'll put electricity. I have been trying to start budget budgeting for electricity but at the same time i'm like it is what it is um if we need the ac we're gonna use it <laughs> we try not to use it. obviously if no one's home we have it off but if i'm hot i'm gonna use the ac like i can't do anything about it so for groceries we're gonna do 800 we um groceries are expensive and then we have like the kids birthday party so we might have to buy some stuff for gas, it's 300 Eating out, I'm going to put 350 We're trying not to eat that much, but just in case, it is what it is. And then household, 150 And then for electricity, I'm going to put 200 I don't want to waste that much. Like last month, it wasn't that much, but just in case. We are using the ACs a little bit more, so I do want to put that there. Um, obviously, I keep the rest private. I don't like to show my home loans. I don't like to show what we actually earn a month. I keep this all private. So um, this is what we do. Obviously, for taxes and everything, it depends on how much we're going to put. But as soon as I know how much we're submitting to the IRS, I'll put it here. So that's like the main thing that I try to budget. Um, obviously, at the end of each month. I go back and see what we what we use like for each of these categories and put it in my other section. Okay, so here we're gonna put um, my bill tracker, and I am gonna put my debt. It's a two home loan, so that's what we have for debt. So I do want to put that there. But first, let's just get the bill tracker. So like we're gonna pay any credit cards, anything, um, I put it there. Okay. Perfect. And then like I said, I do wanna use um, my debt tracker, but I don't know if I should just keep it like that. Because, yeah, let's see. It's just two things. So, let's put it here. I want to see how, how I want to do it first. Okay. Yeah, like I said, it's just two <laughs> things that we're tracking. So, I want to start using space that I don't need. So, that I don't have to. It's not that chunky on the top. So, I might just do this. I, I think it's fine. Like, I'm going to. I think it's perfect. Okay. Yep, it's perfect. We're gonna keep it like that. And then for any bills, we'll keep it here. I think, yeah, I don't think I got that much. We can always, I can always put this to like divide it if I need. Yeah, let's put it here. I think it's perfect. I'm gonna keep doing this each month. Okay. So here we have our spending tracker. So this part is um, 
what I use to um, any miscellaneous shopping. So I we do have sinking funds um, that we do. We do have like our main four things that I track, but we also have miscellaneous spending and I like to put it here, like any money that my husband sends to um, to his parents in Colombia or anything that he has to, like certain things that he has to do, it all goes here. So that's what we do on this section and I put it here. It's pretty basic. We usually never fill like the whole page. Sometimes we do, but usually we try not to spend that much if we have to. But like I said, things happen when we have to. Our budget is steered to things that work for us that um, it's not going to be perfect. Each person has their own budget. Some people follow Dame Ramsey. Some people follow different things strictly. We use like a grasp of certain things to help us save, to help us pay everything and keep us on track. So this is what works for us. Here, we're going to put our transaction log and our sinking funds. So let's put our transaction log here. And this is where we put anything that we spend from our sinking funds. Okay. And I do like to put it on this side and put the sinking funds on the other, just so it's better for me, <laughs> for my writing. I'm just going to put this here to decorate. I don't have to, but let's just put it. Okay. And then here's where we actually have our sinking funds. Okay. Okay. So we do have a couple of categories. Perfect. So we're going to start with baby beauty. I already forgot. I never, I should be taking pictures, but I always end up forgetting. So it is what it is. Birthdays and Christmas. And then we have clothing, gifts, home, make sure that I'm having everything. Um, oh, see, I've switched it, holidays. Yeah, I know. That's fine. It's not going to be alphabetical. Law school. Pets. School. And wedding. I think that's it, but I'm just going to double check, even though I know that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's it's fine. I'm not going to white it out. I feel like whiting it out makes it worse. <laughs> okay. So I haven't done, like I said, we were sick. I'm, I haven't done my ending balances because we have used a little, our sinking fund. So we're just going to put what we're adding. And some categories we're adding and some we're not. Okay. So for baby, we're adding nothing. Beauty, we're adding 40. Birthdays, we're adding 150. Christmas, we're adding 100. Clothing, we're having adding 100. Gifts, another 100. Home, nothing. Holidays, we're going to add a 20. Law school, we're adding 150. Pets 100, school 50, 
and wedding zero. So now we're just gonna add these up so you guys can see. So we're gonna be adding a total of one eight hundred and ten dollars, and then I. So for my beginning balances, I would see any of the I would put here and go over any of the transaction logs, any of the purchases I did, added, subtracted, and then whatever's ending for June is my beginning for July, and then if whatever I do this month, and then the adding. So obviously. The ending of each month is the beginning of the following one. So that's pretty much it. Um, I have to do that, which I haven't done, which is fine. And I think I like it. I'm Like I said, I'm trying to... So right, usually right here, I would have done my dev tracker. But I feel like it's good that I have it here. Let's see how I like it. Um, let me just zoom out a little bit. Let's see if I like it. Not sure how it's going to go. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please do. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.